Millions of dollars worth of fake MBTA tickets sold online. Tonight, one man is under arrest in what's being called the biggest scam in T history. That's right, and those fakes passed as the real thing for years. Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Kennedy has the latest new at 11. Now we've learned the man under arrest had access to MBTA printing equipment. Not only did the illegal passes look like the real thing with their magnetic stripe, they passed through turnstiles unnoticed. They were like the best counterfeit money you could have. They legitimately were T-passes. They were just unauthorized. Investigators say since 2007, Andres Town sold up to 20,000 of them worth millions of dollars online. He was able to print them himself because he worked for the company that processes those monthly passes for the T. There was no record to the T that this pass even existed um, because this individual, we allege, created uh, his own um, set of ghost passes. That went undetected until a conductor noticed the color was off on a passenger's ticket. That's how this case broke, is this one conductor just seeing something that wasn't quite right, and he says, you know what, I don't feel good about this. Police then found out that serial number didn't exist. Officials say that led them to uncover the largest fare evasion scheme in T history. They believe Towns acted alone, but they've already taken actions against his employer, Cubic Transportation Systems. Uh, we sent them a notice of breach. Um, I've spoken to the president of the company to express not only uh, our outrage, uh, but our expectation um, that uh, the MBTA will be fully compensated for these losses. Coakley said as far back as 2007, Towns produced and sold up to 20,000 fake passes through websites, including Craigslist. She said the T traced 400 passes in March alone that totaled about $70,000. Erin Kennedy, Eyewitness News.